You know what they say about necessity being the mother of invention? Well, one Kenyan barber here in Kenya's capital, Nairobi, Bakat Ali, has actualized this phrase. Now follow me as we take a look at his unique barber shop. Hello. Hi. I'm good. How are you? Good. Welcome. Such a nice place. So I, con I decided to convert it about like a year ago. That's when the idea came to me. And then um, I had no idea how I was going to do it, to be honest. I had no knowledge on how, um, how I was going to put water and electricity, fit this seat in it and all that. So I just did a bit of research, got a bit of consulting from different people in the construction industry. And from those tips I got, I um, just got a team that could do it. So I needed a good carpenter, I needed a good electrician, I needed a good plumber. So once I had the right team, then everything just fell into place. See, so that comes with a haircut, a head wash, and a face cleansing service. Yes, that happens quite often. It happens quite often, especially with the construction going on of the highway and all that. Um, when it comes to me crossing over to the other side, I do find a lot of traffic going and coming. But um, now I'm just finding a way to be able to arrange my clients in a certain way so that I'm spending a certain amount of hours in a certain area, then moving on to the next and the next thing. I, I'm, I'm used to the consistency, I'm used to quality service and uh, now with this mobile barber shop it's just all about convenience you know like right now we're literally outside my office before men were ignored we were never a part of the conversation but, uh, if you were looking to invest in an industry right now you know, look at men, because men, men care about themselves now. We want to look good, we want to feel good, we want to dress good, you know. Another thing I like about mobile barber shops is privacy, one. You know, it's just you and your barber and uh, the beautician. And especially now with this pandemic, it's, you know, it's, it's just great just being in a place where you're not too many. Yeah, just, you know, it, it's, uh, it's within the safety requirements. So I believe strongly in word of mouth. So if I give you a haircut, I want you to get as many compliments as you can out there for that haircut. I want the work to speak for itself. So that has helped me grow and get me to where I am today. Oh man, this advice I, I'm constantly giving people. Um, just take risks you know if you're young you have time to fail learn from it and get back you know so even for me to get to where i am i had to fail so many times make so many mistakes just for me to know exactly what i need to do 